Here we have a 2007 BMW 318 Petrol in Montego Blue. It's a nice looking car for a stage. If we start with the offside front tyre, as you can see, you've got a hell of a lot of uh, wear in here to the outer edge of the tyre. And I'd say you've got 3mm of tread there, but because of how well worn this outer edge is, I would say it would be close to changing soon. Looking at the offside front alloy, uh, very minor scuffs. You've got one to that side and some very light scuffs to that side as well. Apart from that though, no signs of any major curbing at all, and the wheel's actually in nice condition for its age. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, uh, taking a good look, can't see any signs of any dents, any dinks, or any damage at all to the offside of the car. It does look very well for its age. Um, mirror cap, you've got a light scratch there on the mirror cap, that should polish out uh, no problem, it is very light. A few age related marks on the vehicle, looking at the driver's door handle here, you've got quite a lot of light scratches. Again, most of those should polish out. Looking on the door edge here, very minor chip to that side, that just require a touch of paint. But uh, looking down the rest of the door edge, doesn't appear to me more signs of any chips. A couple of light scratches down on the driver's door sill. Again, a couple of age related marks, like I said. Sills appear to be in nice condition. I'm taking a quick, quick glance at the roof. Again, no signs of any dents or any damage at all to the roof, so that's all in good order. And then look at the rear passenger door now, very clean, uh, no signs of any marks really, no signs of any car park chips on the door edge, so the rear passenger door is in nice condition. And then look at uh, uh, the offside quarter, rear quarter here, and again, a couple of light scratches, looks like it's had a very light scrape here with another car, or but as you can see, quite a long scratch there, again should polish up no problem, and I can just get my nail into this one here. So two little points there and there that are a little bit deep, but the rest should polish out. Looking at the offside rear tyre, and again you've got around 3mm of tread there. And then taking a look at the offside rear alloy. Very nice condition to be honest, with no signs of any curbing at all, with just a couple of light scratches. And moving around to the rear of the vehicle, you can see it's the 318 petrol there. And then looking at the top of the boot, a couple of scratches, you can see you've got quite a long one there going across the boot. And then some around this one side, and a little group of scratches there. Very light, I can't get my nail into any of those, so they should polish out without a problem. Looking at the rest of the back, uh, we do have a slight, very minor dent or dink in the rear bumper here. So if you try and catch that in the light, you can see there, very light, it uh, hardly is indented at all. But again, it is there, so you should be aware of that. And a couple of scratches. To the back of the boot lid here, um, and there is a slight crease actually. Um, well, this main scratches it slightly raises up here along where the scratches, so it's slightly pressed on the rear bumper there, um, but only only a little bit there. So, we'll just be aware of that. Uh, if we just take a quick look in the boot, as you can see, there it needs a real good valet, a bit of dirt around here and there, and nothing in there at all. Just wanted to show you the condition of the boot. And then moving around to the near side of the vehicle. Look at that near side rear tyre. And again, you're looking at around 3 to 4 mil of tread on this one. And taking a look at the near side rear alloy, uh, unfortunately, I've got quite a bit of curbing to that one side, so I would uh, recommend a refurb on this one. Looking down the near side of the car, however, and again, taking a good look, can't see any signs of any dinks, dents, or any damage at all. Very clean looking vehicle. Um, no signs of any marks at all in the rear passenger edge. A couple of light scratches to the near side rear quarter. Again, very light, most of them. A few age related marks on the front passenger door. And again, sills are in nice condition as well. And no signs of any marks at all to the mirror cap. Looking at the near side front tyre, you're looking at around 3mm of tread. And then looking at uh, the near side front alloy, again, you can see a couple of heavy curbs there. So again, I would. Uh, Recommend a refurb on this one. And then moving around to the front of the vehicle, looking at the near side front quarter here. Again, just a couple of stone chips towards the bottom. And then looking on the bonnet, very clean to be fair, with just a few minor stone chips dotted around here and there that just require some touchings of paint. But no signs of any, any damage at all to the front bumpers or grills. A little bit of chip there into the paintwork. But all in all, it's in nice condition. And a bit of a scrape here on the offside front quarter. So as you can see, these are very light. Uh, you've got quite a deep one there. It's gone down to the bodywork. 
and the same on the front arch there as well. If we take a look inside the vehicle now. Now I've got to say uh, this car has been heavily smoked in. So just be aware that it's a, there is a strong smell of smoke in the car. So it's uh, been a previous smoker's car. Um, but looking at the condition of the interior, no signs of any damage at all. Uh, very nice condition, no rips or any tears. But of course you have got that uh, that smoker smoke smell. But nice condition to be fair in the back. I've got in the front. I've got the driver's seat here. Slightly wearing on the holster and uh, slightly creasing there. A little bit of dirt should uh, fetch out easily, but no signs of any damage at all to the driver's seat. And the same in the front passenger seat, slight bit of wearing, but nice condition overall. And looking at the rest of the dash and steering wheel, etc., they're all in nice condition, especially for its age, no holes in the footwells, etc. Uh, if we step inside the car, I can show you the mileage and things. Do get two sets of keys with the vehicle, which is good. Uh, I will say the central locking doesn't work on the uh, front passenger door. You can see all the locks are up on the rest of the doors, but this one doesn't actually work, so be aware of that. And uh, if we just get the car started. No problem starting the vehicle, you can see the service lights on there. Very low mileage for its age, 49,850 miles, and no symbols on the dash needed to be aware of. Water function steering works perfectly fine, but CD and radio here. There's no problems with the sound at all there, that sounds great. Uh, car, you can see light indicating there it's on and off, no problems there. And also there's no problems with the rest of the buttons either. All the blowers are functioning perfectly fine as well. So that's great, manual transmission. Take a quick look at the documents now. The V5 is uh, on plate retention, so we don't have that at the minute. But we have confirmed that the car has had three owners. So that's three owners on the vehicle. It does come with the MOT certificate. Unfortunately, that ran out on July 31st. So it will need an MOT. And uh, we've got no service, but we have got uh, invoices here. So your first one was invoiced at 17734. That's the details of the vehicle, of course. And then we've got the second invoice here for 35,000 miles. Again, this was done at Rybrook Shrewsbury. That's with us there. So it's got two stamps. That it does need a service at the moment. So it has got franchise service history. There we go. That's the 2007 BMW 318 SC. And for car average age, it's not in bad condition at all.